So in this video I want to walk you through my screencasting setup with hardware and software. So first this is the audio interface I'm using. It's a Focusrite Scarlett Solo. As you can see it has two inputs, a mic input here and an instrument input here. It also has two outputs, a headphone output here and a line output here. So it runs out of the box in Linux. The only complaint I have with it on Linux is that you can't use the controls for the line outputs. You can only control the headphone output with this big knob here. But there are other nice features like this direct monitor switch here and also this LED indicators here. So I think I can recommend this for Linux. The other bigger audio interfaces are working as well. So for the mic I'm using, I'm using this Superlux E205. It's a basic condenser microphone, but it only costs 38 euros, so it's very cheap. But as you can hear, it works quite nicely. So this is my guitar, except that I have two P90 pickups here. It sounds really nice and it plays really nice and for that price it's also not that expensive. So from the guitar I'm going to my pedal board. Maybe I'm doing another video about my pedal board. But at the end of the signal path I'm going to this Palmer Pocket Amp. So this pedal has different amp models with different modes also different mic setups. So this has a built-in speaker simulation and as you can see here it has an XLR output and a normal output and you can use them both at the same time. So I highly recommend this for recording guitar with your computer. So as you have may already seen I'm using the Czech audio server and these are my connections here. So this mic capture is going to this equalizer here. And this equalizer is connected to the simple screen recorder and to the system playback. So as you can see here, these are the outputs from my other software, like Firefox. And it's connected with the system playback. So for the equalizer, I'm using Kala as a plug-in host. I'm using this EQ 4Q Mono equalizer. This is the plug-in interface. As you can see here, I'm filtering out the really low frequencies. And at 7 kHz, I'm filtering out the S noises, so that it's not so annoying to hear it. So for comparison, this is with the flat EQ and this is with the EQ. So as I've already said, I'm using Simple Screen Recorder for screen recording. It's jack compatible and it runs really smooth, so I can really recommend it. So for cutting my videos, I'm using Lightworks. This is not an open source software. But I had plenty of problems with Caden Live or OpenShot, so I prefer to use it. It's also free, but you can only export to 720p on YouTube. So thanks for watching my video about my setup. If you liked the video, please leave a like. If you have any questions, ask them down below in the comment section. I see you in the next video. Bye.